I'm here with a victorious Solomon Simon, a Cage Warriors 161. Third round submission. How are you feeling after that one? Solid, feel very good. Like, uh, it was a tough fight. Your man, like, he wanted to wrestle me from start to finish. And I was happy because he tried, he failed. And I, like, eventually kept the pace going. Close to the third round, I, I could feel him slowing down a bit more. And then once I started catching his jab, started catching his rhythm, I was just like, fuck it, let's just, like, keep going. Got the arm triangle from standing, took him down. I didn't get, I think I finished it from half guard even, so I just like started squeezing, I heard him gaggle a bit, squeeze harder, and got the finish done. You're still early in your pro career, when you're in these fights, what are you looking to, to achieve or like to take from them? So, like I said, what I'm looking for myself, like, if I'm in a video game, like, you know, yourself in the UFC, they have their striking, they have their grappling stats, they have their... Uh, submission, everything, I'm trying to get hundred and all that kind of shit. It's, it's an impossible mission, right? But what I'm, that's what I'm aiming to do. That's why I'm going in my training room. That's what I'm, when I'm doing my teammates. That's what I'm trying to achieve. I get that done, and then I bring myself into the fight against the best people that they have against me, and I test those skill sets. That's all I'm trying to do. And I'm going to keep doing that for the next 10, 15 years, and that's it. Like, I'm just trying to better myself every single fight. I want to see if I am what I say I am, what I believe I am in my head. I'm going out there to prove it to myself that I am that person. It's been a successful night for Team Rana so far. Currently, uh, your teammate Jerry Harris is putting on a barn burner of, of a fight here right now. Um, when it comes to, to the team, Andy Ryan was saying to me beforehand, he wants to see more confidence from you in your fights. Did you have a message after this one to you when you stepped out of the cage? And, and like, did you... Do you, like, do you, would you agree with that? Do you kind of need to grow in confidence? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think a lot of things, like, if I go back if, through the army days, it's gotten a lot better uh, moving up in the pro, and it is from the likes of Andy, Bobby, guys, like, even, like, me and Bobby, like, through the army days, we went through a lot of stuff in regards to the conversation we've been having about, like, me just, like, switching shit on in there. Because my biggest thing, like, I aim for perfection too much, so every time I fuck things up, it makes me doubt myself a bit. I start to, like, say oh, like, I'm not as good as I am because, like, oh, I threw that right hand and my, I'm overreaching, or I threw that jab and I dropped my hand. So when I make mistakes, I take it on board too much. So, like, Andy's been saying, is like, you have, you have power in that hands, you have all of that, just go out there and fucking smash him. Just, like, when I hear stuff like that, I'm just like, oh, just, but I'm like, fuck, I get what they're saying now. It's just go out there and just do you. Don't, like, give a shit up. Don't give, don't give, don't give it's a decision, decision, yeah. You got to win there. Like, um, <laughs> like, you just say, go out there and just do the job. Just get it, just smash him. Do, and it just tells me, just go do what you're going to do. That's all that matters, you know? So I'm happy. Like, I think I've definitely been growing in confidence, and it's thanks to the team. Like, we've been, we've, there's been a lot of conversation in the background, and I'm stepping up. I'm not even anywhere near that yet. Wait for the next one. We'll see what's going to happen again. You mentioned one of your other coaches, uh, Bobby. Gary Wallace and Bobby Mead, Team Ryan at Waterford. They've been with you for a long, long time. How important have they been in shaping your career? Critical, critical. Like, I, like, I started my MMA journey with them. Like, I when I moved, finished college, I was up in um, Ocean and Compound in uh, Dublin at the time. As soon as I finished college, gradually came down to Waterford, started my MMA career. And those boys, they've been with me from that point on. They've seen little things. They've adjusted lanes in my game. Like, Bobby, when we went to the IMAFs, he traveled, left his family, came down with me. There was, <laughs> there's times where, like, after the fight, I'll be fucking crying on the phone to Bobby. And then he'll be having a conversation with me about stuff. Like, I've been through a lot with those, um, with my core group. And, like, forever be proud of them. Um, forever be appreciative of them because they brought me along the way to where I am now. And I cannot wait for what the future old for us because like all their work that they've been putting into me I'm not going to let that go to waste and it's going to happen like it's just give me a few more years I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and whatever happens happens but if what I'm saying to myself in my head is right big things to come what's next for Solomon Simon Solomon Simon would like something else this year maybe like uh, if not I'll be trying to get something early next year but if I could squeeze in something this year it depends on a few other stuff but if I could squeeze it in this year I'll take it if not early next year I'll get something else in well look Solomon another great performance another finish so three wins uh, three finishes in your pro career to date uh, really looking forward to seeing you develop uh, and appreciate the time today and congratulations thanks very much Andy I appreciate it